I think I have a bit of a bad habit that I'm trying to shake when I talk to people about democratic education. Um, what I do is I, I naturally begin to frame the conversation around my own experiences um, in the classroom as a teacher. Um, sometimes as a student too, but <laughs> but but basically, um, I, I end up reflecting more on the disagreements that I've had in that journey um, with the way the mainstream education uh, setup is structured. And it can come off as a bit cynical. Um, I'm working on trying to avoid that so that I can think um, I can think and speak more constructively and positively about what this model can bring to the future of education, um, specifically what we can bring uh, using this model to Cork City. So let's do that. Let's focus constructively on what we hope our vision can and will create for students. I want to talk about trust. Specifically, I want to bring up the concept of intrinsic motivation, which was one of my first fixations in my early readings as a teacher. Um, and this is well before I had heard about the Sudbury model or democratic education as a concept. Um, so, so this is when I'm still in the mindset of a, of a mainstream educator. But I still think it is, is super important and it applies really, really closely to what we're trying to do. Um, so when it comes to trust, uh, how do you expect children to build a real self-determination and a legitimate love of learning without that trust? It's tough to do that, right? So, so making these kids partners or even um, what we're trying to do, make them leaders um, in their own journey through their schooling years is essential to this. So this concept that I read about all those years ago um, is known as self-determination theory, and it's a it's a framework that, is, that was developed by researchers about motivation, and it highlights uh, three key conditions that are linked to um, high measures of motivation in their studies. These conditions are sometimes conventionally referred to as the ABCs of motivation, and that would be A, autonomy, B, belonging, and C, competence. It was really the first one, autonomy, that was always weighing heavily on me in my own work as a teacher, as it, it's very difficult to achieve um, to, achieve, to achieve that autonomy in the settings uh, where I was teaching, at least. Um, it's, when you think about it, I mean, I wasn't even autonomous myself uh, as an employee, right? Um, and, and just in that in that structure, um, how how could I? create a system of autonomy, of true autonomy, authentic autonomy for my, for my students. Um, the best I could really do was, was fake it. Um, and that really wasn't cutting it, right? So, so why, one of the reasons I love the democratic education model so much is because it, it solves this problem on a fundamental level. Um, it's one of the many reasons I'm so excited about it, but, but trusting these children authentically, we feel, will result in the natural autonomy inherent to this concept. Allowing them to direct themselves based on what they really want will organically result in a self-awareness of their own improvements and innovations in whatever endeavors they choose. This will then deliver the feelings of competence and self-confidence that is shown through the research to open our minds to new information. So if you're following that, I'm feeling like this autonomy and freedom that we will grant our students um, is kind of in a way going to sow the seeds for those feelings of competence and confidence that come through that, right? Because they're self, because they're self determined learners, they're going to feel the competence and the confidence in their endeavors as they actually bear witness to their improvements along the way. And it kind of, we're hoping will result in this cyclical positive feedback loop that we hope will result in like what we kind of refer to as intrinsic motivation. Um, that's the vision in that regard. Like how does that, um, how do we get that intrinsic motivation? Um, the research shows that it, it really has to do a lot with this autonomy because students are really seeing, um, they're, you know, they're clever, right? They, they, know, they know when they're able to achieve something on their own and that results in really, really strong feelings that will result in positive experiences for them.